welcome to another process video. Let me take you through how I made this made this week these whimsical whimsical teacups. They have been fun. <laughs> ah, it's always lovely to have a little bit of whimsy. I've been doing some slow stitching, so that's been really relaxing. I've been using up little scraps of fabric too. So let me bring you down here closer so you can see exactly how I, how I made them. For this little teacup, I used the old fleece, fleecy material, and I've shown a link below where I make my scrappy patch fabric on the machine, so I'll link that below. And I use this lovely Liberty print for for the back now if you haven't got fleecy material we use what you have you might have some wadding left over from from quilting or just old, an old blanket so i'm going to use the fleece again and here's the little pattern that i roughly cut out. It's, it is very whimsical, very wonky. I, I just did it freehand but if you want to draw one out a little bit more accurately you might go to Google, Google Images and search simple teacup design. So I'm simply putting mine on here and I've doubled up the fabric. It doesn't matter which way it is because this is all going to get covered. It just makes it nice and squishy. And I'm going to probably pin that on there like that. And cut round it. Penny Angelica, are you looking after the tin of ruffles? Here we are. Let's get that down. Looking out of the window. <laughs> so cosy. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful treasures. Mm. Here we are, all cut out. It Looks nice like that actually, doesn't it? Could just simply, yeah, gorgeous. So this one, I'm going to slow stitch on. So I'm going to find beautiful bits of fabric from the owl bag and I'm going to sort through here and sew some ruffles on. Let's just empty them out, see what we've got. Oh, that's from using the stitch saver. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I might put that on. Mm. Little bits of lace and ruffles. Oh, I love this one. I made that one with my niece Katie. So I'm literally just going to sew these on. And it's slow stitching, so any stitch goes. <clears throat> Actually, I might want to choose some bits of fabric and take this to a very comfy, cosy place. Although young Freddy looks cosy as he is, doesn't he? Mm. 
Freddy has rucked all his blankets up and sitting or lying cosily after a busy morning in the park. Oh, that's when I was doing the painted silk. Oh, let's put one of those on. Lovely. Yes, let's roughly pin it and take it to the other room. Mm. Oh, here we are, all cosy in the lounge. Despite being very tired, little Freddy came to sit beside me, bless him. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely piece. Nice piece of vintage, that can go on. What else? Oh, yes, the last bits of this ruffle that was made from an old bed sheet and then tea dyed. Oh, I could use some of that. That would make a good handle, actually. Mm. In my trusty little owl bag. <laughs> now, just a case of putting them on and any stitch goes. Ah. Oh. That's a nice deep breath, just getting into lovely slow stitch mode now. Mm. No right or wrong. Freddy, it's Ben. Ah. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Here you go. I'm making fabric whimsical teacups, Ben. Oh, right. Okay. What do you think? I mean, they're not very practical. <laughs> no, they're not very practical. No, no. Just you won't get much of it. tea in them. Just for the look yeah. of it, really. Oh, Freddie's come to say hello. <laughs> Freddie wants a cup of tea. Um, are you able to provide one for him? <laughs> not in this little cup. Ah, right, Let me okay. show you how I make these ruffly bits here. Oh, you want to know, don't you? Yeah, I'll, um, I'm, I'm taking notes. <laughs> So just come up there like that and just put the little ruffle in. Just adds a little bit of texture. Be careful you don't get your thumb. No, I won't get my thumb. <laughs> mm. How do you know you're not going to get your thumb when you're coming through the other side? Oh, I don't know. You just That's have to good. be a bit careful and tentative. It's quite close to you, mm. isn't it? You could. Yeah. Use a thimble. Do you remember yeah. when you used to play hunt the thimble yeah. with Nana? <laughs> I do, yeah. 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 Do you remember when you put my china, you forced the china thimble through the little keyhole? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <You> don't remember. <laughs> no, but it sounds like something I do. It really does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I finished with you now. Thank you, Ben. Okay, you want me to stop recording? I do. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to carry on. What's the base? It's an old fleece. Ah. Yeah. Did you know it's that one I used to wear like a dressing gown? Oh, okay. oh all the time. Yeah. yeah. All right, friend. Yeah, all right. But oh, look, I've got the. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oops. Anyway, you sew it in like that, put a little stitch in. Mm. Hmm. So there it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, little Freddie. Freddie's just eating. So. He's excited. <laughs> oh. Two, tea, two cups. No, they're teapots, are they? No, that's a teacup. That's the handle. Teacup, right. Are you going to make a... Uh, a teapot? A teapot. Yeah, I yeah. will. Yeah. I will, yes. Make a whole set. Yeah, yeah I think so. Mm. Thank Very you, nice. Ben. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's ready. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> On the train again. This time I've just bought a very small lot of sewing with me. first teacup just just to embellish <laughs> the little bit of slow stitch mm. I have the needle and my scissors and just one lot of the silk thread it's already in different matching colors absolutely beautiful mm. dashing 
through London. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, thank you, Pamela B. So I'm going to sew on some little sequins. Just got one strand of embroidery thread here. Make sure that's on tight. I've got my little got my little cute little tin here. A few little beads in just enough to travel with and when I mean travel I mean travel on the train or travel around the house <laughs> and I'm going to pop my finger in there so I don't sew them together and just add this little sequin oh and this is this is where it just gets so relaxing because you can add as many things as you want. Sometimes you just get carried away because you're just relaxed and you want to just keep on sewing. <laughs> it's lovely to add a little bit of shine. Mm. We all need a little bit of shine, don't we, in our lives? Mm. Cut that off and I like to leave a little thread dangling too. Mm. Right, okay, so... I think this could do with a little bit of stuffing now. Here's all the tiny scripts and scraps nobody wants anymore so let me just pull some out onto the desk here like this there we are and so it doesn't feel lumpy i might need more actually so it doesn't feel that feels lumpy bumpy so it's just a case of cutting things small now this is what my niece loves to do now, when I, I sh when I went down to see my niece, I should have taken this with me, this bag, because she would have snipped, snipped, snipped. It's such a therapy for her. Give it a go. You might enjoy it. Get the little cup <laughs> and fill it. There we are, not with tea. Oh yes, that makes it nice and, oh yes, it's nice and soft. Lovely. And all those, oh isn't that funny, they just all fit in there. Now I have to find a piece of material to go over the top. Maybe to make it look like tea or coffee. So some tea stain dyed fabric maybe. Mm. Okay. There we are. Cup of tea anyone. <laughs> I found this nice strong linen, vintage linen. It's got its, it's not tea dyed or coffee dyed, but it has got a lovely, a lovely colour to it. Let's make a paper pattern, shall we? Let's see. I do that if I cut it out and then just very roughly let's see if that because I need it bigger oh do you know oh do you know I think that would be fine brilliant now I'll just draw around that. I'm using a pencil here. It won't show. Once it's once it's cut out. Just 
very rough. Did you know, if you have felt, I think felt would be great for this. But use what you have. Cut this out. There, it's the first time I've done it. So I'm just going to, because I can always trim it. So I'm literally... I'm going to do a blanket stitch because that I because I did I've been doing this since I was little. You you do what because this is slow stitching, so do what stitch comes it, 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 that helps you relax. Do the stitch that comes naturally to you because in slow stitching there's no right or wrong you can do big and little stitches they don't have to match so I'm just going to go round and round I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do when I come to the corner I might trim as I go let's see <laughs> Here I am at the corner, so let's see. I'm just holding it with my fingers and I will trim this bit here. Hmm. And continue round. Take a nice deep breath and slow yourself right down. We're not in a rush. Not at all. We can just take our time. That's the beauty of this sort of stitching. Although we will have a teacup at the end, it, it is more about the journey. <laughs> there we are, just keep going round in the stitch of your choice, taking in the back and the tea-coloured fabric. Mm. We could all, always stain it some more as well by just dabbing like a little tea bag on it, if you wanted to. Mm. Or with tea-coloured paint, watercolour paint maybe. little teacups what are we going to do with them when we've when they're ready now they could go in our fabric journals oh my sewing journal's getting a bit bulky but it could it could hang off the side yeah <laughs> Or hang as decorations in the house. Or in the summer we have decided at the giving tree. To have a teacup theme or tea teapots, afternoon tea. We haven't fully decided yet how that's what form that's going to take. But that's what got me 
making these little cups. I think the ones in the giving tree would be flatter. It's just that as I started to make them, I suddenly thought, oh, wow, it would be nice to fill them. And also, I'm wondering, would it make a nice pin cushion? I used my Happy Mail from Cat Straight Away Flow. I popped a little dra the dragonfly charm on my on my little teacup. Mm, of course, I've got a heart and quite a quite a few gold threads as well. Mm, there we are. <laughs> a nice cup of tea. Up Jack anyway. lovely. Lovely to spend this extra bit of time together. I'll be adding some gold leaf. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I have got some gold thread that I've added there. Remember? Hmm. Oh well. It'll turn up. Mm. I've added plenty though. What I'm adding now is think of different things as you go along, don't you? I added like a little tab with the bird on, on this one. But then I thought, as I was just sewing up, wouldn't a little dangly tea bag tag look nice so I'm just cutting out a little tab shape <laughs> and I've printed that little bird on it so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing now and spending this bit of time with you which is lovely <laughs> so your desk Flo Oh, Flo. Oh, you've received, you've received happy mail. Oh, a journal from Cat. Oh, and beads to make a necklace. Oh, you must be thrilled. Can we have a closer look? And Cat said in her note that she had added just a few little pictures to each page so that Flo didn't get overwhelmed by the the white page <laughs> and had a starting point. Radiant positive vibes. Oh, it's lovely, Flo. Flo has quite the collection of journals. She loves them. Goes back to look through them. some forget-me-nots to put on the desk, shall we? My scissors here. <laughs> Should we pull an ATC? That would be really lovely, wouldn't it? Thank you, Primrose Fiskers. Let's move you over here and I'm going to reach right down into here. Oh, lovely. Pulled one right out. Oh, how lovely. Oh, beautiful. There's a lot of elements to this one. Oh, little cat and little pin. Oh, how lovely. And it says healing. And it was from Beth Schuler in April 21. That's lovely, Beth. Beautiful painty paper. Oh, that's lovely. Let's pop, pop that one. That was from Christina. Let's pop that one back in our precious pot. That is lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Mm. 
Should we read one of our cards? Sometimes there just aren't words that let us express how we feel. Isn't that lovely? That's one of the chalice cards. Hmm, sometimes there just aren't words that let us express how we feel. Mm, gosh. Mm. Oh. I shall be making up a quilt square this week. I've cut it out. It's got I've got the Jubilee 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 Coronation fabric. So that'll be, that'll be lovely. I can put that on my memory community quilt. Mm. Well, shall we light a candle? Yes. Mm, let's do that. Sometimes there are no words. Taking life day by day and taking life moment by moment. I'll say goodbye with Freddie and myself. <laughs> Take good care, everyone. sugar this isn't a healthy recipe oh no oh dear and it's got oh how much 200 grams i need some more 200 grams of oats porridge oats i get these from little mm. and then you just bake it in the oven i put grease proof paper on the tin because it really sticks <laughs> Like. Right, I need to send you some oh. photos of those doggies. Our royal mugs, on. Portuguese yeah. tarts, <laughs> expectant doggies. Mm. The cherry blossoms out in at Park Hill Park. 
Ah, oh, lovely. Brightening up our large town. Ah, oh, lovely.